coughed into your arm. Ah! <laughs> that finally that got you to shut the fuck up, bro. Ah! I love how like we're like I'm I'm telling you like okay press record we're about to start and you know I gotta go like welcome to the intellectuals blah 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 this is fucking like, this guy that can't fucking shut the fuck up for half a second I will say something that was mentioned in the comments Guido has been extra annoying lately <laughs> really which yeah. comments we have um, comments now nah, he's going he's now he's gonna go crazy Guido has been he's extra annoying lady yeah late, you late, yeah, late, yes yeah. yeah someone had commented they go normally I can handle him but today I fucking can't stand him <laughs> oh that's nice just keep listening I get it uh, you um, get it yeah okay. yeah lately I don't know you've been off you, you're angry I, I haven't been angry. You, like right now, you're giving off I'm, angry vibes. No, he I'm literally not angry. he literally told me hi out. So the first thing he told me, I'm so fucking mad, bro. <laughs> you can see it. <laughs> what was I mad at? The fucking uh, the show shit, bro. <laughs> I'm just fucking. Oh, weird. that's no. I know, I know, I know. Get that know. negative energy off There's your chest. There's no negativity. <laughs> Do you know Chuck Norris? I love Chuck Norris. They asked him a question once, uh, and they said, "Why aren't you ever anxious? You're always happy." He goes. Being angry, what does it bring? Because it's not going to bring anything. Because at the end of the day, you're not going to change the situation. It's not going to help in the situation. And what if there's a problem and you get all angry and then it solves itself an hour later? You went through that hell for no reason. Well said. Hey, you know what? The man's got a point. He does have a point. But hopefully one day I'll learn how to listen. I've been trying. I've been trying to like, sometimes I want to get mad and I go, no. Really? And does I it work? I unmad. Sometimes, yes. Um, sometimes I can't help it. Mm. Chuck Norris, he's still rocking there uh, with uh, he he fought Bruce Lee and he had um, red back hair. He fought the law and the, <laughs> the law, law won. Chuck Norris, Poseidon, pay attention. Oh, prom dress. Pay, pay, I can't be pay, looking at that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> prom dress. Poseidon, you silly goose. You silly, um, silly goose. Anybody watch the uh, Shane Gillis? How did that go? I didn't. I didn't oh yeah, it was on SNL. Or he hosted oh, uh, SNL. He hosted SNL. <laughs> I got to text Chrissy Meyer. I just see Chrissy Meyer's face and the quartering did a video. Pregnant comedian pepper sprayed by woke lunatic for jokes. Because uh, Chrissy Meyer, uh, Saturday night she had a show. I forgot where. And after the... Oh, she's at pregnant? The, uh, Chrissy's pregnant, yeah. She oh, was shit. at the uh, Compound uh, Media, right? Yeah, of course. Uh, and then uh, during her meet and greet, mm -hmm. someone like pepper sprayed everyone at the meeting. Oh, yeah. that is, that I wonder is if they very, caught. very bad. Yeah. What a loser. Yeah, that's a real fucking prick. You ruin everyone's night just from that. You know how much that burns? Oh, yeah. Like, if I if I were to spray it, like, 10 feet away, it'll still burn your yeah, eyes. Yeah, we used to... First of all, I got pepper sprayed by a hooker. Well, of course yeah, he did. That. Yeah, if anyone here knows... Yeah, yeah. And, <laughs> and, and also, we used to have these fucking assholes in the, <laughs> in the fucking bus, bro, the city bus... Leaving school, bro, they were just squirted in the fucking air. Yeah. And no, you know, it's not pepper spray. That's the stink bomb, but it's still No, no, awful. no. They had the stink bomb. They had it in packets. They would toss it. But then there was the pepper spray where you literally couldn't breathe. Yeah, you know, that, you know how condensed... They had to evacuate the bus, Because you know how condensed the air in a bus gets? In an asshole, you, yeah. You know? No, no, it's, no, it's not. It's <laughs> No, because especially unsafe. in winter, especially in winter with the windows closed. In the summer, it's not that bad. It clears out. But in winter, it's cold. Awful. So, so mm -hmm. there's the heating going. And then, like, it's just that fucking same humid air that everyone's breathing. And if I'm not mistaken, it might be illegal, I think. And pepper would, spray was only available they, in the or States. Or they would just go... No, no, but, it's illegal to in a public place. Like, no, you, to if you it. get caught... Can you own mace here, or is it... Look, if we're going to go by all the rules of what you can and can't own, okay. I'm not allowed to have employees. Ah, okay. Uh, but one time I did blow up a stink bomb in a in a, in a school bus. Yeah. In, not in a school bus, in a city bus. You took a shit? No, 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 no. I, I literally blew up a stink bomb. And I, I, the thing is, I, it was my first time smelling a stink bomb. <laughs> and I didn't... Because in my head, I'm like, there's no way it's that bad. It's just going to smell like somebody shat themselves. Big deal. No, it did. Rotten eggs. Dude. Rough. Yeah. It was rough. Dude. Sulfur. Very sulfur. Dude. It yeah. was bad, yeah, yeah. man. It was bad. Bad. Sell those? I wonder if uh, one day Poseidon is going to do enough so that they erect a statue of him. Right. Uh, like a statue of hate? No, like, if you do enough for them to erect a statue of you, it would be so funny. Because it's going to be the first time in history that there's a statue that people shit on instead of birds. <laughs> 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 Took a while. He got you that. piece of shit. <laughs> uh, so he, was it good? To, any, any news on the Shane Gillis? It was people, uh, apparently came he killed. Went? I saw. Yeah, I yeah saw. he killed. But but Saturday Night Live was so shit. Yeah, it was very hard for him to work. Right, like he was the only one that was funny for a long time. Okay, I, I watched yeah. a bit and I laughed. His and monologue? the monologue was amazing. Yeah, 
was amazing and uh, but woke people like he fucking bombed this because they don't get the jokes he said gay and retard uh on right. nbc bro right i'm amazing. so fucking happy because yeah. i know that they're furious because mm-hmm. that's what they wrote they go he said re- he said the r word mm-hmm. uh, I-, I listened to, to a small amount where he talks about being his mom's best friend so was, funny yeah bro yeah, you I guys died. remember when you were mom's friend huh? you guys remember when you were gay <laughs> 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 yeah i get in the car yeah tell me your day girl <laughs> yeah well, they expect that the, the lauren and them expected that right they yeah. wanted so it's it's good his monologue was good good for yeah. good for old uh, shane I'm very happy. And now they announced that he, he spent his own money and he recorded sketch series and Netflix bought it and they're going to premiere no. it in May. Oh, so you, there you go. He gets so his that's own. top quality yeah. shit. Bro, that's big boy mm. moves. Yeah. Ooh. It's like Chappelle Good shit. Good for him. Yeah. yeah. Go Shane. Well, Shane's ske- uh, sketches. Uh, I was going to say Shane's shits. Shane uh, shits. You, know, shits you are, had a false his alarm His shits today. are funnier than whatever they do on <laughs> SNL, bro. You, but you know what's funny? Listen to this now. So they're getting offended. Oh, my God. He said retard in the monologue. And that's so offensive. Meanwhile, fast forward one hour to the musical guest, 21 Savage, talking about murdering people. And everyone's like, he's okay. Go slay, poet, slay. Yeah, yeah. when it's <laughs> for bro, some it's reason, crazy, bro. I've noticed that. And it's it's always bothered me. And, and ever since I've noticed it, I've been having a harder time listening to rap. <laughs> It's absurd because it's like how can this be okay for you actual murder mm. and somebody saying the word retard not even <laughs> you act like i murdered a retarded not even sense. not even in liaison to a, a retarded person <clears throat> doesn't you make know sense. what i mean and then like and then it's such a bad thing but somebody talking about murder how he got off scot-free with murder that's all right it's acceptable there's no problem with that like that's... what 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 happened what happened what happened that's We're why the world you, is really 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 weird stupid place doesn't make sense. Nothing makes sense. No, nothing makes sense. Um, <clears throat> uh, did you guys see? I think Ted reposted this on Twitter. A mom and a daughter getting run over, bro. Somebody ran a red light. Did you see this? Show? Oh, I can't watch that. Crazy. Stuff. Where? I think in Newark, New Jersey. Southern oh my New god, Jersey. this was in the free world. In Newark. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Holy shit. I'm not gonna bring it up. Not in Newark. That's the airport. Sorry. New well, Jersey. New- Newark is a city. Newark is a city. Oh yeah. Oh. Okay. <laughs> There's a mayor there, and, uh, and uh, oh, it's dead? like the Laval of New Jersey, basically. You're right. Okay, right. all of New Jersey is a Laval. <laughs> oh, they, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, man. There was a fucking video on this guy. Apparently, he 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 had been posted on uh, like his bail had been posted. It was two hundred grand, but they let him put only ten percent of the money down, so only twenty grand, and then he could pay the rest <sighs> later. So then they let him out, and as soon as they let him out, this is what he does. He runs. He runs over a mother and a daughter, and they both get fuck. You know, I don't unalived. I don't, you know that whole bail bonds business in the states. Do, do we kind of do that here? Do no, we, we don't no. have that at all. They're called bounty hunters in the states. And I, we have, I like, wish ba- we had. They might on. become we, a bounty hunter. I used to. I, I would do it too. It sounds cool as hell. A eh? bail bonds. So these pawn shop type places, they pay your bail, and you owe. Right? No, how does that work? Uh. So let's. Oh, you want me to explain it? Yeah. Yeah, please. Okay. So essentially, let's say you uh, you go to prisons, you go to jail, mm. and they put a bond. They say it's two hundred thousand dollars, but you don't exactly have the two hundred thousand uh, dollars, or even if you you have some of it, you can go to a bail bondsman, and basically use something else as collateral, and they keep it, so that that guy doesn't run away. But then the thing is, they're on the hook for that money and that person if they go on the run. You get it, a bail bondsman. Yeah. So yeah. then they have to get. Because now it's like they signed their name too. So now it's like, fuck, I got to go collect this guy or else I'm out 200 Gs because they're going to take that. I need that money. That's my money. I'm not going to pay this money. So that's why they go and they hunt them down. But it's also open to other bounty hunters. They could just hunt you down for the bounty if you're running away from the law. That's yes. really Wild West old Which sounds stuff. cool as yeah. hell. Uh, I'd love to chase someone out. But if you, like these guys, uh, let's figure out is how it the judge? Like a judge? Uh, okay, so if he wants bail, he can get bail and leave and not stay okay. until his court date. What he is a leave. bail bond? A bail bond is an agreement by a criminal defendant to appear uh, for a trial or pay a sum of money set by the court. The bail bond is co-signed by a bail bondsman who charges the defendant a fee in return for guaranteeing the payment. So he says, I'll charge you a fee and we'll get you that money. Yeah, but you he can't charges run away. 10 points basically. So he's going to get, like, let's say it's $200,000. He's going to get 10% of that. Yeah. He's going to get 20. Uh, so I pay the 200 grand, but you owe me 220 now, basically. Bail is a wacky thing. Like, you could put money to get out of jail for a bit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
It's, it's, a, it's pretty Wild West. Good yeah. movie, uh, uh, Midnight Run. It was De Niro's first like comedy movie in the eighties, Midnight Run, where he was a, uh, a a bounty hunter. You know what turned out to be very prophetic? What? Demolition Man. Yeah, isn't that weird? Like Frozen was, Stallone and uh, Wesley Snipes. It was such a dumb movie, but then you, you know what I figured out. I was like, why does it seem so prolific? And it's all these stuff that like I feel like I knew. And then I realized that the screenplay, you know what it was adapted from? Uh, uh, Stephen King or something? Brave New World. Oh, okay. That's why. It's okay. very it's very 1984-esque. It's very Brave New yeah. World-esque because that's what it was inspired by. It what's just, a, sorry, what's Brave New World? It's, it's one uh, of those famous yeah, it's books. Aldous Huxley. It's, uh, it's one of those famous books that's like 1984 okay, okay, that talks yeah. about like a dystopian future of that. You know, uh-huh. everything monitored, language police, all that shit. So... So basically, what they did is they took something like that, something prophetic, and they just put makeup over it to make it seem yeah, Hollywood. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it's easier for people to consume, and then you're getting a message. Makes complete sense. And kind of like that movie we saw, The Cure for Wellness. What's that? Dude, that, that the is, Cure for that Wellness. Is... It's a huge dude. Uh, unless you don't notice, but it's literally, it's a horror suspense movie. But that's the first layer. You know what's interesting about that? It talks movie? about secret societies and like uh, the Rothschilds and shit like that, and how they control everything and blah blah blah, Didn't and that they 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 feed you but they poison you. That's yeah. how they keep you under control. Anyways, yeah. it's a whole oh. thing. By the way, that movie, very good movie. We watched it in the movie theater. Yeah, it is very difficult to find right now. Really? Yeah, I I tried looking for it like two years ago. I had a really hard time. Like, if you type in uh, uh, a cure for wellness, it's only like one place you could rent it. Mm. Or, oh or some shit! So it's, it's been buried. A bit, yeah, and you never really see. Uh, uh, you could get it right now. You could get it on Google Play for five bucks, on Apple TV for five bucks, or Amazon Prime for five bucks. Okay, that's available. Yeah, but you, what, never, you just you, want everything on Netflix. Didn't uh, Rob, no, no, but you uh, never see. Child die or something? But you never see like people talking about that movie, which I find weird, unless it's a movie that. Because you remember the movie it, theater it was went, confused. Yeah, it went under the radar. People didn't get what was going on. I sure we watched that. Me too. Yeah. You know what I started watching? Hmm. The Pianist. Started touching really, it. what a sad movie, man. Are you? Is that the one with Adrian Brody? Yeah. Why is that the one in, in Italy? No, 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 in uh, Warsaw. Uh, Why would you torture yourself? That's a Roman Polanski movie. Fuck! What a sad movie. Yeah, man. I, I'm not into those. I, I, I'm but just, it, I, I, it's it's one of those movies you have to watch. It's like yeah. so good, you know. Like, yeah, well, he won an Oscar for it. Yeah. And then nobody ever saw him again for a while. Yeah, I don't know what he's up to now. He got banned from oh, Saturday he was Night Live. In, uh, he, was, uh, he was one of the bad guys in um, Peaky uh. Blinders. Oh, was he? Okay. Yeah, he was. He was a, ch- a Changreta, one of the Changretas. He's a good actor. Um, he, was, he, 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 he started talking like Sean Paul Sean uh, Duvall, on, no. on, uh, on SNL, and he got banned from that. Team. Why? Because when he, he came out to uh, uh, introduce the musical guest, Instead of saying, um, ladies and gentlemen, Sean Paul, he did, he started talking patois, and he was banned. Why would he, he was so into the character? That's, That's a fact. Ladies and gentlemen, please yeah. welcome, Sean Paul, yeah, Sean yeah. Paul. I'd be he, like, this is I'd amazing. Be like, I'd be like, oh, shit. Because everything, oh, everything is scripted, so he went on his own, and that's oh, against the rules. Oh, fuck these people. And so man. he's been, uh, yeah, him and Steve. What happened Sigal? to having fun? Who else was banned? Damon Wayans, senior. He's banned. I don't know who that is. So Poseidon, they, they exist By the way, everywhere, but just because of what you told me, I'm ordering a Cure for Wellness Blu-ray just to have it. Yeah, oh, there was that other movie that apparently they shelved. Which one? There are I'm, so many movies that I are not it. available anymore. And then people people hurried up and burnt copies. Yeah. Because they even took it off shelves. You can't, yeah, like the Blu-ray is going for like $100, are you $200. Are talking about that, that Mel Gibson one there with the, that came no, out no, last no, year? The, the with movie, the, with the Passion de Christos? No, not no, the Passion no, no. of Christ. The one with the um, fucking that the Jim Caviezel was in there. The the oh the rape one. No, yeah, no. the child trafficking. No, no, that no, you can no, get. No. I think it's on Prime right now. There's no. physical copies that are hard to obtain of a lot of movies. Now. Yeah, Shonda Palia. <laughs> there was that other guy that came out and said that uh, you know you don't even if you rent it or even if you buy the movie digitally, you never really own it. We can pull it whenever we want. Yeah, to. I yeah. think somebody made a statement like that mm-hmm. recently. But that's people, true. People people have got been mad. losing movies. Yeah, people got mad and they're like, people started buying like Blu rays and shit again. There are movies that are impossible to find. You could just call, like. But talk find. about The Pianist. Mm-hmm. The Pianist. The Pianist. Yeah. Uh, I found a lot of correlations with what happened during the pandemic. 
Tell us. You know the beginning of like World War II and shit. Oh yeah, yeah. when the whole world and doesn't know like, what's happening. Uh, right. uh, yeah, exactly. And you know you got to put on this armband mm. and blah blah blah. And oh, now we're just gonna move you here. Mm. And oh, now you have to. No, no, no. But it's it's only it's not gonna last long. Yeah, people do this all the time. Humans are assholes. Was Fauci in it? <laughs> um, I'm sure there was a Fauci type. The, the Germans. <laughs> yeah. The Alemans. Han, Hans Landa. Yeah, the Nazis. Mm. Um, but yeah, I saw a lot of correlations with like what happened during the pandemic. And I understand why people were saying like, this is like some Nazi shit. This is like some Gestapo shit. And then you had the Jews turning on, on their own people. Basically, they were policing the Jews mm. in in the movie. That's, that's where I'm at so far. And uh, I think Schwarzenegger's dad was one of those guys. He was. He was an SS really? officer. Really? And then he would come home and, and be an alcoholic because he hated what he was doing. I think yeah. I heard something. But it was like that. his job and shit. Yeah. But he hated dealing with Jews. It apparently pissed <laughs> him off so much. He'd get, <laughs> but anyway, that, yeah. But yeah, at some point, yeah, at some point they hired Jews to become like the police, the Gestapo task force, uh, the Jewish Gestapo mm-hmm. task force. You're talking about George Soros. <laughs> it's true. Wait, what? George Soros, I believe in Poland. His thing, he was Jewish. They would go to him, and he would go round up and tell everyone who the Jews are. Yeah, it's, basically these guys. Like, you know, he named uh, names, and he they named hired names. and the and the, these. He these. named names. This guy, you know, what kind of a rat you have to be. And then yeah. he goes, "I had no choice." He's an influence. No, no, you had a choice. In the movie, it shows they have a choice. Yeah, you, you rat well, it's not a historical. Well, it's a historical movie, but anyways, a movie nonetheless. But but it's fucked up to do that. No, no, no. That's for, to your own people, bro. That's crazy. Anyways, I'm watching this movie. It's very sad. Mm-hmm. Um, I watched Oppenheimer. That is it was gonna a very win? Good movie is it too. gonna win an Oscar? Is everyone's this bro? Is the- it better win an Oscar. Mm. It was an excellent film. Yeah. Excellent, excellent film. Um, it made me think about a lot of stuff. These Jews, um, yeah, a lot. It's a very interesting film. Also, the dilemma of the Japanese, them saying we're never gonna stop, we're never gonna surrender. Kind of put America in a weird position where they're like, now, obviously we want to show people no. we have this, but we kind of have no choice but to use it or else these fucking idiots won't stop. No. So now the the lives are like 200,000 people are on the hook. So it's such a conundrum because you're like, if I do this, I'm going to save all these American lives because we won't have to go to war because they're going to give up right away when they realize that we could just disintegrate them. But at the same time, do I have the right to kill all these people? It's fucking crazy. No. It's very, very sad. How, there's been, uh, what, SAG Awards, BAFTAs? How's, how's it been doing? Has it been winning? Wait, what am I, a fucking reporter? I for, don't know. I am I a reporter checked. for Variety? Bro? I, I think, uh, but what, there wasn't a recent, like, uh, event where people got mad at, uh, uh, what's her face, uh, Margot, uh, Margot Robbie not winning something. Uh, uh, but people get mad at them. These awards are meaningless. No. Yeah. Like, I tell comedians, who cares about these fucking comedy awards? Yeah, the, all- the, um- and then what's his face? Uh, the the um, Ryan uh, Ryan Gosling? I love him. He is a good actor. Is it? Wait, wait which one of the he's Ryans Ken, is yeah. it? Yeah, he's Ken. Ryan Gosling is yeah. it. Yeah, he won something for, like, song or male performance song or whatever of the year or, nice. or something like that. Or and then comedy people, actor of the year at Golden Globes, maybe? Uh, no, oh, something whatever. with dance. And then people got mad at him for winning. And it's like, look, women get snubbed again. What do you mean? He won best male something. Uh, why would she win that? Exactly. I mean, exactly. Why would she win? I'm like that doesn't make any sense. The word Ryan back- Gosling won an award for biggest cock in Hollywood, and they're like, so women can't win another award. Basically, and then and then people were like, uh, Margot Robbie should have won uh, for Backlash. like best actress. Well, no, for but Barbie, I'm like, what does that have to do? Yourself. What does that have to do with, with- him? With him, yeah, winning. they're non sequiturs. They're not. They're not related. And I they're... was so confused and angry, and I'm like, "But these are fucking dummies on the internet." I'm now getting mad at people on the internet. I'm yeah, at don't. fault. I remember when someone got mad at Tarantino that uh, Margot Robbie's role in the Hollywood movie was really short; it should have been yeah. longer. He's like, "No, fuck off." <laughs> that was her role. Was exactly that. <laughs> you need more screen time. How are you gonna get mad at? Yeah, exactly. How are you gonna get mad at? It was a beautiful yeah. representation well, of of uh, but how Sharon you gonna Tate. get mad? Hold on, hold on, bro, hold on. How are you gonna get mad at whoever's responsible for making the fucking movie? Yeah, it's backlash for nothing. That's I hate. There's there's people complain all the time about everything. There's always someone complaining about something. That's insane. Bro. It is stupid. We're really a society of just complainers. Yeah, uh, retards. We're Big just time. a society. I'm like, why is this like this? And no one ever does anything about it. No, they just want to. And then the few people who do get backlash. I always mm-hmm. get backlash for my views. But Speaking you know what, Poseidon? I'm living, I'm living oh, this the dream. Barbie. 
By the way, the, the movie, I, I gotta say, okay, it was an okay movie. Uh, a bit like feminazi shit. But it looks fun. It looks like a fun movie. But yeah. also, yeah, it was a fun movie. Uh, I like Ryan Gosling so much that it'll circumvent it. Ryan any. Gosling was good in it. And uh, what's his name, bro? The the guy that... Um, Pedro Pascal. Will Ferrell. Will Ferrell. Will, Will Ferrell, Ferrell made, was in it? Made, he made me chuckle in it. Oh, you know, Because it was Ferrell. dumb as hell. Not his best performance, but whatever. Uh, also, my critique about this movie... Is uh, it felt like a Chevrolet commercial? It's it's exactly oh, a car. Chevy's. It's, it's a commercial for there was one Milton car Bradley in the movie. Or, or whatever the toy. There was company. one car in the movie, and it's it was a fucking Chevrolet uh, Blazer. What it because was for she, the new Blazer, Chevrolet Blazer? And she always you don't had have the, to look at the trailer by the way. She's she in the always background. had the, the, yeah, the, hot. the Corvette. It was always the Barbie Corvette. I remember, so it was yeah. Chevy. So no kidding, they got money from that. Oh. Barbie always had oh. the iconic Barbie Corvette. After no, showing this it, was they nothing, got money. Nothing like that. Okay. This was the mom. Basically, it was like basically she was driving around the family SUV like it was a supercar. I know, but Barbie uh, was, was a hit. Indestructible. Barbie was a hit. A hundred percent. It was a hit, and I heard it was fun, and I heard it's enjoyable. Oh, it was like fun, movies. but it, there was there this was isn't the pro you know what the problem is, bro. The problem isn't Barbie. The problem Barbie good for fucking Barbie. I'm happy that Barbie exists. Yeah. I'm happy the movie did well. Uh, what bothers me is what they're doing, like right now with uh, Marvel's X Men, X Men '97. What are they doing? So, okay, so X Men '97, the trailer oh. came out. <laughs> I know, I know what you're referencing. Are you, no, no, you think I, you know, I'm not talking about Rogue's ass. I don't really mind that. Oh, okay. I remember this series. <laughs> but basically, so so they changed the characters a bit. Like this is supposed to be a direct continuation of this series, right? But they made Rogue uh, unfuckable. Okay. They made Storm have like an angry lesbian haircut. Okay. Uh, so people are getting upset about that. But also they're making Morph from one day to the next. Now he considers himself non-binary. What? In, in 1997, non-binary was not a thing. Okay, okay. Morph so it's now more agenda-driven. Right. And then now they're talking about how, oh, we're going to find a parallel universe because we want to make a, a female Wolverine. And they don't understand why it tanks. I'll explain why it tanks. Women are not um, women are not like a weird uh, dog that you can just change the color of a toy and be like, here, play with this now. Women are not into Wolverine. I get it. Women are not into uh, the claws and that. Mm. I get it. So, of Rage. course, just making Wolverine a girl is yeah. not going to help women come on board. And all the real fans are going to are gonna uh, get mad and push it away. So then you lose money. Obviously, you lose money. It's not for them. It's like if you take Barbie, okay? What, what if right now we recast Barbie as a guy? Yeah, yeah. a Ken movie. Do you really think men are going to get behind it and women? No, no women are going to be like, this is not for me. I don't know what this is. It's weird. Right. And guys are going to be like, we don't want a, f a male Barbie. We don't give a fuck, bro. So, yeah. But there are cool uh, a girl uh, um, X-Men there. What's her name? The one that changes ship changing all the time. The Mystique. Mystique. She's yeah. cool. She's very Why can cool. I make a Mystique movie? But th that's what people are saying, and that's yeah. the problem is that they go, instead of you creating original properties that are uh, more right. geared for women or whatever, you're just trying to uh, mutate what already exists. So the people that are already the fans of that get upset. You're not going to go watch it. The result you, is right confusing. Now, okay, right now, if you want to test this theory, Sex and the City. Sex and the City, mm, uh, huge, huge, that, mm. that series. You take it right now, Sex and the City 3, it's, what is it, three chicks, five chicks, how many, let's say it's five chicks, mm. it changes, five dudes in the city. And they're acting? The they're acting like dudes. Okay. But, but entourage. It's, you, the, the, it's entourage. In their heads, they're so stupid. They're going to be like, we're going to get the Sex in the City fans yeah, no. and all these new guys. No. 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 You're going to lose the Sex in the City fans, and then you're going to have the guys who are going to be like, well, this wasn't written for me. That's not how guys act. Right. Guys are not. Yeah. They're not five guys being like, oh, my gosh, she has a huge vagina. Like, <laughs> it's not, it's not so, for us. So why don't you just make a Sex in the City movie that's, pro, that's uh, profitable and made for women so women could enjoy it, you know what I mean, and make men movies. Or the For equivalent men. would be the dudes going, oh, my God, her pussy is so narrow. Like, uh, <laughs> I, I, I think the closest that we came to that is probably an entourage. But in the universe of Sex in the City, as men, it wouldn't work in that world. No, 100% no, Just not. don't change it. Just uh, create mm. an original property for something. Mm. But if you make a Spider-Man, but you're like, no. He has a vagina now. Nice. We're going to get everyone. People with vaginas and without them. No, you're going to alienate everyone because it's just stupid. shooting webs out of his pussy. Yeah. yeah. I remember there being a girl Spider-Man at yeah, some they point. Tried, well, right now, Madam Web came out. Yeah. No one watched it. just tanked. Madam Web. That's but it. don't they understand? Sydney Sweeney is in it, bro. One of the hottest chicks around no. right now. And it didn't work. And it didn't. No one mm. saw it. Bro, I'm a huge Spider-Man fan. I love Madam Web. 
I did. I didn't even care. I didn't even realize it came out. But you you gotta cater. Remember Peter Porker? Man, you gotta the, the cater to the Spider Man, to the woman psychology. And, no, not even that, dude. It's just don't destroy something that exists because then you won't even have the base. So right now, Bob Iger, he's basically upset. He's doubling down. He's like, the people that don't like this, fuck them. These fans. It's like, dude, that's how you made your money. Everything is tanking. You're losing subscribers. You're losing money. It would be like right now, every week, the intellectual starts as of next week, and it's two random chicks that are here every week mm. talk about different <laughs> stuff, but we call it the intellectuals. The intellectuals fans are going to be like, well, you're calling it the intellectuals, but it's not them. Yeah. The essence is gone. Yeah, it's not them. You just have the same title, but this is something completely different. They're talking about something else. It's They're not they're not two retards that we love. <laughs> yeah, I get it. I hate it when they do that shit, too. Mm. They fucking remodel everything. Is there any good Marvel news? Uh, Besides the Deadpool That's it right I mean Deadpool I'm excited about I hope they don't fuck it up Uh, I don't know if there's any other good news I mean Jonathan Majors He's no longer going to be playing Kang They're not going to go with Kang Because he I think he beat up his ex-girlfriend Or or Accused Accused But yeah yeah, Whatever happened (laughs) There was a video of him running out of the car Running away from her And they're like Does this look like a man that beat her up And there was a whole thing I don't know Is that the dude that was in Creed 3 Yeah Okay. I really like him. Yeah, well, he's a good actor. Actually, yeah. but did he beat her up? Happened? Is there proof? Can we Google this? I'm I think she now. retracted. She called and then yeah. she called. Some, yeah, but she already did the fucking damage. She, she, made, she caused the damage. Absolutely. She destroyed him in one single phone but call. That's insane, bro. In, that's insane to me. Yeah, the fact yeah. that you could just fucking mm-hmm. call like that and be like everything, this. Everything, uh, Jonathan Majors, everything Jonathan Majors has been dropped from. Oh, no. That's not it. Jonathan mm-hmm. Majors. Marvel's pivoting away. Upcoming... I'll type in guilty. And you know what bothers me about that? Let's say they did have... He was guilty of one count of misdemeanor, third-degree assault, and one count of second-degree harassment. Okay, so this but actually... acquitted of two other counts of assault and aggravated harassment in a split verdict. So even even the the jury wasn't too sure. Yeah, but he's done. I mean, where is he, where is he now? Is he acting? So uh, did, he, did he, he beat... drop from a lot of stuff. But oh. did he beat her up or not? Well, something she, happened. There's something smoke, happened. There's fire, she, right? He, she said that uh, he assaulted her, but assault could be pushing her, shoving her. Like it could be anything. When I, you said Omake, Omale, Omake, Omale. we're gonna get to that in a second. I'm uh, just curious about something because, like, he may have, he didn't punch her in the face or anything like that because yeah. it was something vague that you couldn't prove or disprove. But he did something that made her say that, or she. I think he said that she was being. Cra- like it's it's a lot of he said she said so I don't know who's crazy. Yeah. But then shouldn't that not affect his career? Well, th- here's the problem: is in court though he was found guilty of those two things. They said this seems reasonable to us. So really? now, yeah. So now Disney and them, they have to go with that. They have to go with well, because people man. are going to go against uh, them. They go yeah. in court. They're Disney. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see. I see. I get it. Uh, any. Uh, so he's a woman beater. And According fuck him if he course, is. Yeah. This if he is, is, fuck him, yeah. Yeah, if he and, is, fuck him, yeah. Anyway, what are any uh, McMahon I mean, he's still news? A great actor, is McMahon though. still? Yeah. A, he's a good actor, sure. <laughs> I mean, he could act like he didn't do it, and I'll believe him. <laughs> That's funny. Sure, he's trying. <laughs> but uh, any um, other McMahon news? Any other dirt with McMahon, or is it still uh, I think he's done. where we left it? I, I mean, McMahon's he's done, but oh, I don't no. know other. Um, he's done. I don't know if wrestling's ever going to be the same again without him, though. Yeah, big dark cloud over there. I don't like how uh, much people are also quick to talk shit about him. Like all these ex, yeah, I always knew he was weird. Yeah, all right. There's no like, again. Go fuck yourself. There okay. no so you've been there for fifty yet, years, yeah. yeah. But you've been there for fifty years. You never said anything, and now that it's out, now you're. I hate it when they do that. I don't understand I like why the, they. I, like why? Like okay, if that was in, if I was in that situation, let's say I worked for WWE for like I don't know thirty years. I made millions. I retired. I'm chilling. <laughs> Why the fuck would I even I talk to the fucking press about it? I don't give yeah. a fuck oh, no some more. Some people have yeah. to stay I don't give a fuck what happened, what's been going on. Bro, I'm chilling poolside, bitch. Leave me alone. Yeah. I liked Randy Orton. I, I never uh, understood that. Like, did you hear Randy Orton's statement? No. Um, Randy Orton, you know him, right? The wrestler? Yeah. He, he um, his statement, um, Obviously, I don't have it now because... Uh, I mean, you could just sum it up for us, dude. Uh, basically, yeah. he, he said the right thing. He said, this is awful. This is terrible. This is... But he he was he was implying it was really difficult for him. Like, it hurt so much because a man that helped build this career, so, you know, the guy's career, he, imagine how conflicted he feels. This is like the equivalent of we find out Pantelis has been fucking throwing babies off a cliff. Oh, why do you, you have to... You found out about that? Why do you have to... Who told you? Huh? 
Who told you? What? <laughs> CIA? What we... FBI? What? <laughs> um, you know, I'd be like, fuck, man. Like, You couldn't invite me to throw a baby. <laughs> once in a while. An Asian one. Maybe something once in a while. Ella, just... Uh, you have to throw all the babies yourself. I can't throw any. Fu- so Patel gets to keep all the baby tossing. <coughs> Planet uh, of the Apes. Yes. Um, did you enjoy? But, but hold on, because he brought up Omale concert. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. What is that? So Omale is like a Afro beats singer. Okay. Okay. In the UK. Mm-hmm. And uh, and <laughs> he, was, he, he was having a show. <laughs> he was having a show in uh, the the UK. Mm. The United Kingdom, mm-hmm. and basically another man, Omale. Omale come. And uh, another man bought tickets to go to one of his uh, concerts. Did you mean Oma Laeti? No. No. Oma, O M A, space L A Y. Omale. Omale. Oh, okay. And it's a it's a black man. Yes. And he the, another black man bought two tickets for him and his girlfriend to go see the show. Another black man. Yes. Okay. And, uh, you know, because she, she's a big fan of Omale, blah, blah, blah. Buzzfeed. This woman got up on stage to dance at a concert, and the internet is divided. No, the internet is not divided. Okay? It's, fuck Buzzfeed. Buzzfeed, they're liars. a bunch of cucks and liars. Okay? okay? This 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 man, they're, they're front row, basically. Okay? And, uh, you know, Omale has this uh, thing where he invites this a lady it? up on stage. Yeah. He invites a lady up on stage, and then... Okay. He pointed to her. He's like, you want to come? And she's like, yes, yes, yes. I'm a dirty whore. Okay, yes. So she goes on to, uh, uh. And then this happens. And then they start. And this is this man's girlfriend, bro. Oh. With and the guy they, recording? Look at this. Yeah. And then they start fucking grinding. She fucking wow. licks his balls, bro. Okay. Look, look, Wait, look, what look, the look, fuck? Look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at this. <laughs> okay. How's he hard feel? On. Wait, who's filming? The boyfriend's filming? No. No, no, no. Other people are filming. And he's devastated, the guy. Devastated. Who's the guy in the yellow? The yeah, guy with the, the cap. The, the guy with the cap that you saw. Uh, and he's grinding and humping his girlfriend. What guy with the cap? The look, guy look, with this the, guy, this the, guy, this yeah. guy. Look, look, look. Oh, he, no. The guy is devastated. Now, apparently, Omalay came out with a statement and said, like, yo, she told me she was single. And then the, there were rumors on the internet that uh, they were dating for seven years. With the other guy? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, that, it's theatrics. That, that, that came out to be false. And it was like, Oh, look at that. Bro, you don't understand? This set the internet ablaze. Really? Bro. Yeah. I've been having videos about on about this on my TikTok for the past. This like, is the first time I see it. Days. But it does seem highly inappropriate. It's Non-stop. kind of like you know when Bono sings with or without you to a girl in the audience or whatever. I guess it's kind of like that, except they're grinding. Except it's uh, you know, <laughs> yeah, they're literally uh, grinding. It's a black version of that, basically. It's, yeah, it's the black version. Oh, poor of guy, that. bro. Yeah, yeah. And he's devastated the guy. And then you see him after the concert, bro. The guy was walking home alone, bro. Like, head oh, down. he didn't even. She left with Omale, maybe. No, no, she didn't oh, leave with him. Okay. But he didn't leave with her. Yeah, yeah, he just he just left. He was just walking, bro. The guy was devastated. Yeah, bro. What she a, and then made him look she got really a lot small. of hate, and mm. then some. Well, I dumb, can see why. Yeah, some <laughs> dumb whores uh, on the internet were like, "But I want to hear her version." Blah blah blah. We could see both their versions. Yeah, exactly. Um, like he was, his but even was down. even he actually so was even, even if, let's shame. Say, so even if let's say the the the, the couple or the in relationship, the history of disrespect, this is a class of its own. <laughs> somehow. Yeah, 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 she she said women. Or some people were like, "Yo, Eve, Eve walked so she can run." <laughs> Eve Yo. So, mm. anyway, so some people, some people were like, ah, we don't know her side of the story. Yo, let's say the couple, the the relationship wasn't going well, or you had, even if you had just gotten into an argument, that's still unacceptable. As much as from the woman's side or the man's side, like that wouldn't be like if, like I don't know, like fucking Britney Spears was on stage, Yo. and she invited another man, and that man was in a relationship, and they're both at the concert. <laughs> it's still not okay well, for the man with judge Britney to go Yo, with Britney what me Spears. Me and Britney Spears do. <laughs> In the comfort of our own concert is none of your business. But I'm just saying it's an example. You know what I mean? Yeah. So then, like, oh, let's hear her side of the story. And then, apparently, Kai, you know the famous streamer Kai? The live streamer? Co- Speed? Cobra Kai? <coughs> Speed is one of them. But he's friends with Kai. Mm. Whatever I believe you. Kai, is he a black man? K-I-A, yeah. Okay, what is he up K-A-I, to? sorry, Kai. He's a, he's a live streamer, like Speed. And he, he reached out to her mm. for her side. Yeah. To, no, to, to get her on, uh, on, mm-hmm. on his show, on, mm-hmm. like, a podcast, an interviewer. 
And she goes, uh, yeah, I won't be coming on unless there's compensation. She started uh, acting like a, like she, a superstar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She, well, that's it. She, she went viral, so now she's famous. And then, and then uh, he invited the boyfriend, and the boyfriend uh, cleared up some of the rumors. What's this? Monkey. With another uh, I was boy. trying to find the, the streamer you were talking about. He came with another boyfriend. No, K-A-I. Kai streamer. And those oh, two bastards. My bad. They this movie looks kind of cool, actually. Yeah, what is this? Jordan Peele. Monkey Man, official Red Band trailer. Dev Patel. Oh, Dev Patel. Oh, yeah, I know this guy. Kai. Oh, okay. That's the last airbender guy. Did you? Okay. No I saw way. I said Psy or some no shit. Like way. No way, bro. What? Okay. S <laughs> what happened? I'm, I'm lost. That's fucking crazy, bro. I don't know. I'm lost now. It what doesn't happened? matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. So he he had uh, he had the boyfriend on, and he cleared up the rumor that like no, nah, it wasn't seven years. It was uh, a little under a year, and blah blah blah. It's still weird behavior. It's still it's fucking weird. Behavior. Behavior. The girl you're with, man. That's all. It's but then, but then good on him because now like a, a, a bunch of women in the comments were like, "Girl, you fucked up. That man is so fine." Well, that's it. I'm and sure like, he can get. He, I'm sure he had yeah. like a bunch of hoes slipping up in that's his it. DMs and there shit. There you go. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I don't yeah. know why I said that like that. Yeah, so but the whole internet has been ablaze with this story. I can tell. Yeah, I can. I can tell. Um, and people were laughing at it. bro. If that was bro, if that was you, bro. Oh, I'd go. I'd grind on him so hard. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I'd show all my moves. Violence, Why do you ask? violence would erupt in the arena. Mass murder. That didn't look like an arena, by the way. It Whatever, bro. It was still. A, well, is that where you draw? The, that, that's your problem, you fucking dickhead. Who me? <laughs> No, him. Oh, oh, I don't know. I didn't know that I'm saying. It didn't look like an arena. Oh, uh, yeah. You, you know what? You can cheat on me if it's in a if fucking it's in, thing. If, yeah, it's yeah. if it's in a theater, it's fine. Yeah, yeah, but the, yeah, the right. arena is no is good. That, is that my voice? Yeah. yeah. That's how I sound. <laughs> when I'm not around, is, is that my voice? Yeah. This well, is how you sound. <laughs> that's how I sound when I'm not here? <laughs> what are you going to do? I sound like a Muppet when he does I'm checking it. out Britney and, Spears. And uh, what do you think of right now, Britney Spears? Do you think she's lost her goddamn mind? She's done. I know, but we're talking about looks. Looks she's wise. still beautiful. She's still, she's I think still she's still hot. She's yeah. haggard, she's still but very beautiful. But hot haggard. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. She's not she's uh, like, poor, you know, right? You know, so she like, could take care of herself, except she doesn't look like she bathes and stuff. She's like that weird cougar you see at a gas station where you go to put gas and you're not sure if she's homeless or not and either might stab gas you or station. fuck you. Like, you're not sure. You're like, what's going to happen here? I think she looks like where. Britney Spears. I don't know why the gas station a, came up. I'm just saying. She looks like a girl that hangs out at a gas station in Tampa. No, no, no. Like... Like that cougar at a gas I station get it. that you see. Like she's at the gas station it's too. It's the specific part like of the gas station that makes at, me laugh. No, but because you're at the gas station, so you're unsure. It's not like like if you were to see her at like Target or Walmart, it'd be f cool, you know. She's just like a cougar, but like she's everybody's like got, everybody's got to put gas. She looks like that cougar that you see at the gas station. And you're unsure if she's gonna fucking stab you and take your money or like or put gas. Oh, in her there's car. a new trailer for that film Civil War. <laughs> <coughs> we don't need no civil, civil war. war. Who's that actor? It's a Florida alliance. Oh, I know her. The Florida alliance. And the western forces of Texas and California. What? That would never happen. That would never happen. Well, did you see the flag? It only had two stars on it. government is deposed. Oh, they're really pushing for civil war. They are. They yeah, are. They are. I could see it. That's a good actor too. He's trying to kill us. We are trying to kill them. They it's have always painted... A24, man. They're big. A24 They're... is awesome. Yeah, yeah. Did he have painted nails and blonde hair? He did, bro. That's the side we're fighting against. So this is the trend, huh? The get ready for... Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Get ready for the get end. Get ready for... Yeah, to kill your neighbors. Wow. The PSYOP is working. That's... From sea to shining. I'm afraid you're right. Oh no, it's true. That's why they're bringing in mass immigration. Yeah, man. Yeah. It's it's ah, oh, it's creepy. Yeah, it's creepy to see it happen live. Like this is something that normally you'd read about in history books, the fall of an empire. Mm -hmm. We're living it, and it's it's ah, oh, that's terrible. That's crazy. I remember years ago there was that movie, The Siege, before 9/11. Yeah, yeah. Right. You know what this this gives me a. Uh... Fuck, what's those movies there The um, where they, they have that one day a year where they commit crimes? Oh, The Purge. The Purge. This gives me Purge vibes. It does, yeah. It's very purgy. Yeah. Planet of the Apes always looked better when it wasn't CGI and uh, actually I wasn't. agree when they had real monkeys even, talking. Even, even the 60s one with the rubber faces I yeah. like better than these uh, 
I'm with you. There's apparently yeah. a new one coming out. Eh? That's why he talked. We just yeah. saw the trailer. Oh, yeah. Now, um, now I'm gonna bring I that know, trailer. Um, sure. Michael Keaton, everybody's favorite Batman, is finally gonna be back with Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice. That's the uh, title of the movie, and he insisted. On uh, Tim Burton, stop with your Planet of the Apes. <laughs> I want practical effects. Oh, shit. So, okay. And apparently they're going to have the answer to uh, how you can get your head to go back to normal. Because at the end of Beetlejuice, the head shrinker made his little head. So it's practical. Anyway, just practical effects always work better. I, I prefer practical effects. Um, I, I see the same thing. I noticed it with Ninja Turtles. Mm -hmm. I noticed it with Ninja Turtles that... Um, the it, the it, CGI ones now look fucking right. weird. Mm -hmm. It ages better. What the fuck? It does age better. This is but, um, but, but uh, Planet of the Apes always better with actual people, bro. Not uh, the CGI bullshit, bro. And he's um, I agree with you. Anyways, uh, what's next? Ice Cube, Ice Cube, and uh, what uh, are you talking about? Ice Cube. It's not it? Planet of the Apes. No, that's Easy E. That's Ice Cube. That's straight out of Compo, I think. Oh. That's Planet oh, of the Apes. Oh, there you go. Yeah, what is the fuck's wrong with you people? Are you insane today? I so uh, Guido. <laughs> yes. What have you been up to? Sneaky bastard. Uh, well, <clears throat> I've been I've been writing. Oh, I've been writing. I've been what writing. Have been, been what have you been writing? My autobiography. No, I've been writing. I don't know. I've just been writing jokes, Italian good style jokes. What's the deal and I went, with <laughs> guacamole? <laughs> what <laughs> gabagool with guacamole? Um, guacamole is Mexican. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. What's the deal? He doesn't like it. What's oh. the deal with guacamole? It's not gabagool. It's all that kind of stuff. Yeah. So what have I been doing? I've been doing that. I went to see some buddies from Australia sell out the uh, Olympia Theater yesterday. Oh, I yeah. couldn't believe it. Um, the boys, uh, what are they called? Sushi, Sushi Mango. Sushi Mango. Uh, I enjoy their videos also. You know the guys that dress up like the old, old-timey old like I, Italians I don't, and it's Greeks? It's not in my feet. I don't in know them. In any case, yeah. they're, uh, they, they go, were great bada, guys. Bada, 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 they were great guys, and I... Uh... So humans are on the run now? Oh, huh? yeah. Damn, they've really taken over. They, they definitely what, But have. what year is this now? See, this king? is now it's evolved, the whole story. The, ah, uh, they're the, they still kind of look fake, man. I don't care. They're real. No, they're that looks real, but no. Hundred uh, percent. Anyways, hundred percent. Did you see Pantelis is gonna have a blast with this one? The yeah. Gemini AI from Google. What, what about it? You didn't see that shit. Oh shit! The racist stuff, dude. Yes. Whoa, this is was, crazy. It was, it was a, a fucking super Google racist. released their own uh, AI called Gemini AI, and it was super racist. Like, like, no, no, no. You're gonna get. You don't get offended, but you're gonna get offended. Like type of Siri, racism. you, you ask it, You ask Gemini uh, something, and it responds racist. Well, you you would ask Gemini, hey, uh, show me a picture of uh, a white family. Okay. It will show you black people. And then no, it would be like, oh, I'm sorry, but I cannot depict uh, white people mm. in that image. I'm not right. allowed to show white. Right. People. Okay. Not allowed to show white people. Blah, blah, blah. Now, uh, okay, show me a picture of a black family, and it was like, <laughs> here you go. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So someone tested it. No, no, no. It. But but yeah. But they also did. They wouldn't <laughs> want to show. It. So the people were asking, like, show me Genghis Khan. Yeah. And it, like every person you would show historical, it refused to show you white people because white it's people always suck. black. So here, he, sure. Here's an image of a Viking. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder where Vikings black, bro. Oh, bro, it's amazing. And then you keep going. Yeah. Wait a second. Vikings are are not, are from like they're. they're if you click on continue reading, if you okay, go up, okay, oh, there. right there, right there. No, go down. Uh, go a little. You continue reading. Yeah, right there. Okay, so it's 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 racist in. Yeah, the, yeah it had in, a lot. Even the founding had fathers. A lot. Yeah, yeah. The, the, was the founding fathers one real? Yeah. God damn. So so you're like, hey, uh, George Google, Washington, Google Gemini, show me a picture of the founding fathers. Okay. And it was like a black woman, uh, a Native American, yeah. and uh, rewriting uh, history. A black man, and like it, it made no sense. So does Google have egg on their face, or did they do it on purpose? No, no, what, they, they, what you just said is so stupid. <laughs> like, are they are they acting on. like embarrassed, well, on, like they're fixing both, it? What you said is the same thing. Did they have egg on their face, or did they do it on purpose? But that's why they would have egg on their face. You just repeated the same thing. That's right. So essentially what happened was um, they, uh, Poseidon, I feel like you're distracted. No. I'm listening. Dudes. Uh, basically what happened was they didn't, their agenda became clear, and yeah. now they can't hide it. Right. So Elon Musk came out and said, the good thing about this is that now we know that everything we've been saying about them, that they're racist and that they're anti-white and all that shit, is actually true. 
and they didn't realize they played their hand too early with this Google Gemini, and now we know what their intentions are. Okay. Yeah. All right. So he called so, them out on yeah, it. Yeah. That's Google what I want themselves. Yeah. So what they do is it's kind of like a psyop, I think, to white Americans. It's basically to make them seem crazy because they tell white Americans, "There's no problem. They're not racist against you. No, no, it's not." And then they do shit like this. You get it? Try to fuck with them. And but now it just became super public. And then whoever tries to say stuff, they're crazy. Yeah. Mm. Except that now it was so blatant, everyone caught on and talked about. It. Everyone's like, "Yo, guys, this is absurd. This is." Yeah. Well, show me. I don't know. Show me Alexander the Great. Viking and Wakanda it's, yeah. forever. Guys. I got it. <laughs> okay. Yeah. What kind of firm? Undertaker, who I just saw, he's going on a speaking tour. He's good doing, for him. He's doing, uh, yeah. He should keep his fucking mouth shut if, I go see. if he knows what's good I for him. He see. starts every walk. Vince McMahon was a good man. Rest in peace. <laughs> he knows what's good for him. Yeah. Um, <laughs> good Lord. Um, yeah, wrestling. Yeah, but they already did that shit with uh, Troy, the new Troy series. There's a Troy series? Yeah, there's a series about, like, you know, Troy and everything. And well, basically, yeah. everyone's black. But this was in the Mediterranean. Greeks. I mean, weren't they Greeks? At one point, Troy was Brad Pitt. At one point, yeah. yeah. Well, because yeah. Achilles has been yes. in in the history books, mm -hmm. in the books of histories, mm. has been recorded as being. Wait, bro, you don't even have to defend it. That's so ridiculous. That's like saying George Washington has been recorded to not be. But yeah, we no, know yeah. who Achilles. Yeah, I know, Achilles. I know, I know. Yeah, I we know. know what Greeks yeah. are supposed to look like. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, just fucking hilarious. Now he's uh, going to be wearing, Achilles is going to be wearing high heels. You see what I did He's going to be high heels. Hey. Because <laughs> of the heel. Oh, and because of that, they're going to miss his Achilles his heel. heel. He's right. going to survive. You see? Okay, so, you so see? far today. Yas Queen. This, this. <laughs> We've seen the trailer for Barbie. We've seen the trailer for Planet of the Apes. We've seen the trailer for Monkey Man. Uh, straight out of Compton. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Was there one that I'm missing? Oh, uh, Civil War. Wait, Straight out of Compton came out years ago. Oh, Civil no, War. No, I've seen the trailers that oh, we watched yeah, yeah, today yeah. that came on. The best one from all those movies, because I never seen Civil War, it didn't come out yet. But I still think, uh, what's it called? Holds up. I thought straight I thought, out of Compton. I thought Civil War came out already. No, it's the it's, it's the trailer. It's coming out. Why do I? Why did I, I see still it? think straight out of Compton, bro? We don't talk about it enough. I uh, I never that got was around such to watching a good it. Fucking movie, man. I um I didn't have to watch it. I lived it. Was <laughs> when I was in high school. That was so nineties. Yeah. Uh, there was a bunch of rappers. Mm, rappers on the floor. Somebody has to clean that up. Rapperino, uh, doggy. The janitor. I watched the best of Leon. So would you say it's a dirty job? What to clean up rappers? The Get janitor. in that ass, Larry. You know, to be a janitor. I would say it's a dirty job, Poseidon. Yeah. Well, you deal with dirt. Hmm. You deal with dirt. You have you're, to. You're cleaning up with bleach and ammonia. Yeah. Are you talking about dirty jobs, Poseidon? Yes, I am. What is the dirtiest jobs? Well, it's not about dirtiest jobs, but here's our list of... This week's top five and a half dirty jobs, dirty jobs done right. Great, great TV show. Number five, the crime scene cleaner. I mean, somebody's got to do it. So I've heard stories about... These guys, when, you know, after forensics is done and after the detectives are gone. Someone's got to wipe the cum off some the hazmat <laughs> Someone's got to clean up all that shit yeah. in hazmat. Some of the stories I've heard of the shit that people have seen is, like, preposterous. Like, it's insane. Yeah, think about think but, about a decomposing human body yeah. that's been there not moving for a couple of weeks. But the money. Oh, sure. The money yeah. that these guys make. A lot of money. Holy moly. Yeah, but you can never get rid of that smell. Well, you could because you're in a hazmat suit. No, no, no. I mean like in your mind. <laughs> like no, but you can't smell it. I get it. Yeah, because you're... Because you you're cocooned. I get it. There's that image, bro. The Im you know, like... Yeah, I get it. It's yeah, why yeah. they get you paid. You see dead bodies for a living. Yeah, yeah. it's fucked up. It's That's completely the, messed up. You're kind of traumatized. Yeah, well, no. Kind of. Well, yeah, but if you can block your mind out to that... Right. Like, like if I... Like, I would probably do it if I if I could... Mm. If I, I don't could think block I could it. do that. Bro, no. have you ever seen maggots on human flesh? I, I believe uh, it's pronounced maggots. No. But you would, you would, you know. So I, I, I couldn't do that. Okay, st stop getting distracted. You guys yeah. are bad you, at this job today. Well, you yeah. keep putting shit up for us, bro. It's not for <laughs> you. We're gonna look. Uh, yeah, crime scene cleaner. I mean, think about that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it is a business. It's a it's business. A, it's a huge business. Someone's got to do it. Yeah. Someone's got to do it. And you know what it is? When someone's got to do it, someone's got to get a paid. All right, well, score the next one. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about. <laughs> this one, I've seen, I mumbled my words. I've, I don't even know what line. I've seen this. 
Number four, the raw sewage plumber. Okay. He loves to plumb raw so, sewage. So you know how this works. Have sewage this before it's cooked, Are you it's still raw. Are you talking about the videos where the guys, they got to open like some sewage and it's clogged and shit and they got to pull out all the shit? No, no, this guy wears like a, uh, a wetsuit, like a scuba diver. And he goes no, swimming in no. liquid shit. Yeah. And he's got to go, to because of the pipes and stuff, he's got to go underwater, make sure all the fittings are there. And the, no, Yeah, he goes like once disgusting. a week swi swimming in human remains, human feces. That's a job. I hope he gets paid well. He gets paid really well. He was on, was on that show, and I'll never forget it. The guy's he just swimming. What show? What show? What show? Dirty jobs. The guy was swimming around basically in what looked like chocolate milk. You know, but it was just shit. Imagine that smell. Oh. Basically what Andy Dufresne crawled through. Can you please Dufresne from talking about that? Who's Andy Dufresne? A guy in Shawshank. He walked through a half oh, a mile yeah, of yeah. shit. Ugh. Yeah. So that's the uh, raw sewage <sighs> plumber. What we do for freedom and money. Uh. Somebody did that job. Now this one is... I'm goes, surprised by this one. It goes without saying. Think about it. A dirty yeah. job. Number three... Exterminator. So why is this one dirtier than the previous ones? I would argue the previous ones are dirtier than exterminator. I'd rather be an exterminator than because exterminator you walk in you go. Shh, you I mean, it depends who around. you're exterminating. Yeah. Also, you know, <laughs> this, this exterminator works on many levels. There are people that exterminate human beings. Exterminator. That's like still a, less a, dirty a, than the previous. A two. T one T eight hundred that quits. He's mm. an exterminator. Uh, so you wrote that just for that. <laughs> yeah, I did. I totally did. You spotted me. This is why you're going to get stabbed Exter one day. <laughs> Exterminator. No, but I mean, look. <sighs> you Come on. You, you watch Hoarders and watch the, watch yeah, the rats, oh, dude, man. I saw one video. Come on. The amount of bugs. Have you seen bugs all over people's fridges, like cockroaches only everywhere? Only in videos. Only in yeah, videos. That's that somebody me. has to Actually, no, lie. Um... There was a there was a, a a crack cocaine dealer that lived beneath us, and these were filthy people. Mm -hmm. The people that lived beneath you, or the cocaine dealer? The 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 him and his family. Well, you would think he had money because he sold crack. He would be cleaner. No. Yeah, but when you're in that world, bro, it's the whole lifestyle. Okay. It's the whole. You know what I mean? I got it. And bro, the guy, the condition the apartment was in, bro crazy it was like, like the walls were black they were like they were basically like this but from dirt you know what i mean there were fucking razor blades all the filthy filthiness, filthiness and why were you in there oh uh, because here they had to get him evicted and we just went to oh, like, oh to go see what the like fuck it was so the, bad the place it was, was so bad people were like come see this oh wow yeah, That's yeah, so yeah, yeah. Bad. <laughs> So my bad. mother almost had a meltdown because my mother's a clean freak. No, no, I, you can imagine. Like, yeah. I have this next to me. Now those fucking roaches are coming to my place. Yeah. Well, actually, it's because of him I got bed bugs when I was a kid. Oh, why why did you... The, the thing is, why did we you didn't let know, him We didn't know. We didn't know. No. Okay. Yeah, okay. You know that they're, they're blood suckers, those fuckers? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You ever see how oh, disgusting I remember that is? Because the thing is, I wanted to build a computer, and he was, like, really into computers and shit. So oh. he's like, oh, come check it out. And he had kids and shit. So I'm like, oh, I guess it's going to be cool. Mm. But, you know, they were dirty people, uh, you know. Sad to say, but okay. So they had bed bugs, and mm. I, we didn't know at the time. Yeah, we didn't even know what the fuck bed bugs were. Yeah, you know that's that because we, you know, it'll happen at Ritz. Because my mother was very clean, and uh, even expensive hotels have bed bugs sometimes <coughs> because of some person just contaminates. Yeah, yeah, him. And I remember, I remember uh, the first time, bro. I would go to bed. I would not be able to sleep. Scratching. Oh, oh that's thing. so bad. So On a I psychological thought, level. I thought I was going insane. And then yeah. what happened was... Uh, they were eating. They were eating you. Yeah, they were eating me. And then what happened was I thought I was going insane. And then eventually I was getting like spots on my legs and mm -hmm, shit. Mm -hmm. And my mother brought me to the doctor. He's like, the kid is... Either he's losing his mind or like he has, an, he has a sickness. That, uh, that a mattress it had could to be, be both. burned. Thrown out and burned. And then, that and, then, and then what happened was the doctor, I think it clicked. He's like, you know what? Fucking bed bugs. Maybe you have bed bugs, and my mother goes, "What? My house so clean." Yeah, how did you know how my mother is? She's proud of the cleanliness, yeah, 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 which yeah. I get her. My house. I know clean. all the bed bugs by name, but <laughs> and then and then and then the doctor goes goes, "Look, at night, when your son is itchy, like stay around. Like when he gets itchy, and you hear him getting itchy, barge into the room fast, like with a flashlight. You try and see. try and oh. grab one of the bed bugs like with a scotch tape, oh. and she managed to prick one with a scotch tape, oh. and we brought it to the to the to the doctor. And like, yeah, you guys have bed bugs. You don't have, uh, 
uh, your son's fine. How did you? you well, it's not to, fine because you gotta. Like you, you, you have, have to get rid of demons. the bed, right? And then we had to everything. Yeah, that's everything. It. Gone. Everything, everything that was made out of wood gone. Because they're like ter- they're like in the termite family. Yeah, yeah, they yeah, all, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah they burrow you and can't... everything. And we had to get exterminators. And then we were mad at the neighbor, and we we're like, "Bro, you fucking scumbag!" Filthy. Actually, was that in Breaking Bad where they put the termite tent around the house, and that just becomes a perfect meth lab? What? Sorry, I remember that. You remember that? From uh, Breaking Bad, they put uh, like the termite tent around the yeah, house yeah. in LA. You see that a lot. What's when, a termite tent? Well, when there's termites, you, you have to it's fumigate. So they, they put like a tempo, like a big mm. a, a balloon around the house okay, okay. for like a the week. Chinese spy balloons. No, like a tempo that we okay, have okay. in Montreal, something okay. like that. And it was good f- cover for uh, a meth lab. What's next? People right. think it's a uh, you know. Anyway, so yeah, dirty job. Number two, Hollywood executive, also known as a... Well, that, you know, dirty, on, <laughs> dirty on a whole other level. Yeah, exactly. The, the game of Hollywood is... Uh, I like politics. They be dirt merchants. Like yes. uh, Weinstein. What was, what was yeah. his name? Weinstein? Weinstein. Mm, Epstein. Rothschild, Weinstein. Uh, Epstein. Hanks. No, poor Hanks. I don't know if it's name. No, Tom Hanks, they talk about him, but I don't know if it's just because we've become a gag. Well, apparently he was on uh, the Lolita repeatedly. Really? But a lot of people were. I find that Yeah, hard. but repeatedly. A lot of people were. Yeah, yeah, a lot of people were one time. Like Eminem was on it once. No, um, the magician, uh, Chris Copperfield. Friend, Copperfield, Copperfield was on there 50 on. times or 100 yeah. times. Or... Oh. And then they asked the question, bro, if, if uh, they're inviting you to a private island just chilling with your homies, wouldn't you go? And it's like, yeah, you yeah, too. You'd go if they'd ask you. Yeah, that's true. I would go. Especially when I'd find out there's kids. Yeah, Fuck. then I'd be like, yo. It's a you whole other had, world, man, those fucking <laughs> Copperfield. You know how wealthy Copperfield is? Did, did he ever do the numbers? Yeah, he's it's, a billionaire. It's, it's it's He owns islands himself. He owns his own island. Yeah, we're yeah, talking Chris, about this. Uh, we're talking about he owns yeah. his, uh, Galape- Ga- Galapa- Galap- Galapagos. 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 Chris yeah. was, uh, anyways, the, we talked about it already. Yeah, yeah. He, What's uh, next on your list, Poseidon? Yeah, so the, uh, the number one Poseidon, dirtiest job. I, I'm very disappointed in this one. Well, you could have okay. done a better job. Oh, well, you could have also. Number one, the busy. peep show cleaner. Many of you too young to know what a peep okay. show is, so the old man will tell you. Ah, okay, there's a story behind Do this. you know the peep shows? No. Okay, do you remember the arcades downtown? <clears throat> no. Friggin' video arcade. No. <laughs> okay, uh, so downstairs, a lot of these places would have these booths where you go put in money, coins, and uh, it's uh, the TVs are playing porn. And there's a guy who has to mop up all the jizz all That's the time. Disgusting. That is the jizz mopper. If peep you will. show cleaner. That's disgusting. Yeah, there's a there's a Windex mop guy in the peep shows. That's a pretty disgusting job. Ugh. Yeah. I'm sure you guys have a half. Yeah. I'm sure y'all have a half. And the half hooker. Like I feel like there's nothing dirtier than having to get repeatedly cummed inside of. I don't know. Maybe mm, maybe you don't condoms. have to. Yeah, condoms. It's yeah, kind of a clean job. Eh. Well, it's dirty on a psychological level. Depends, unless you're down and, with it. Or if somebody really is filthy. It's a dirty job. Yeah. It's a dirty. On all levels, I would say. Dirty job. Full job. Dirty they job. are dirtier, let me tell you. <clears throat> That's true. Bam, 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 bam. Did you say oh, a, a Rothschild died earlier? Yes. David. Is, uh, yes. Yes. David the Rothschild, my and friends. And good riddance. And um, evil man. Well, that, was, right, was that he... wasn't the best uh, wasn't the best time in the podcast for you to say that one, but it's okay. It's good. Why? He's not a good dude. Well, because he was Jewish, and uh, you said good riddance oh. while people were sick <laughs> Highland behind you. Oh, wow. Was that on yeah. while you nah, said that? you bastard. That was in the background. Why would you do me like this, bro? I didn't know you were going to say that. This was already in the background. But he I, is I an evil try- man. I was trying to show you guys. This is a film. They colorized Nazi footage. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No joke, bro. It makes it ten times scarier. I could understand. For some that. reason, in black and white, it feels distant, like right. it's not real. Yeah, yeah color. Dude, look it. at this with the yeah. red, bro. Imagine you were there, bro. This is terrifying. This feels like well, the impact from far. Hey. Look at that, bro. It, this feels like I'm in a horror movie, bro. For some reason, this, this makes me think of Star Wars. Yeah, I was it gonna is, say that's what it feels like. Dun, 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 dun. You're absolutely See, right. I understand that the color was real, like this is how people viewed it at the time. But because we always see it in black and white, yeah, it, it loses a bit of its impact. This is terrifying, bro. I, Imagine seeing all these fucking 
faggot Nazis coming it's towards like you. It's like when you see Korea lined up. It's it's nuts. Oh, yeah, this is scary. This looks shit, right. bro. It actually shows you when it's colorized. It actually shows you how, how terrifying, how terrifying, and how culty it was. Oh, this is huge culty vibes. But uh, right now, if, oh my god, Wait, imagine you're a Nazi soldier. Now you kind of understand why they went along with it. They were scared. <laughs> yeah, they're like, yo, these other guys are gonna fucking sacrifice me. Look at them, bro. It's like a giant cult. Hey, look, no, no smiles, huh? Yo, the Germans no lie. are fucking wacky. No lie. People. You know what this uh, reminds me of? Mm. What's that movie there? Uh, Mid Midsommar. Midsommar, yeah. It reminds me of Midsommar. But look how they're dressed, bro. But on like a grand scale. That's their traditional clothing. I, guess? I don't know what the fuck it is, but these lunatics try to murder. Look at this guy. He's like got matadors. all the honeys. This guy. You saw that? Yeah, he's knocking yeah. on them chicks. Wow, bro, these guys look ludicrous. Those guys are in lederhosen. Wow, this is, uh, yeah, it's... it's These fucking people try to take over the world twice. That's mm -hmm. crazy. Yeah, like that Norm Macdonald joke. They went to war against the world. Yeah. <laughs> That's, and the extermination part is 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 the uh, most fucking fucked up. You know, up. there's a fine yeah. line between being Tupac and being a Nazi. Dude, <laughs> that, that makes no what sense. What do you mean? I, how are you? Because Tupac, no. Tupac oh, is me like against, me, the, world, me against the world, you know? No, oh, I see. <laughs> but look at this, bro. Look, how creepy is this? This is terrifying. This is creepier than North Korea. This is terrifying, bro. It is creepier than North Korea. Look at how many there are, bro. Like, bro you he has forget the how many Nazis there were. He has the gayest salute. Did you see that? He has Zig Heil. Yeah, it's fucking terrible. Look, he's looking with binoculars. Where's Poseidon? Yeah, he was not. <laughs> his, yeah. Bro, this is terrifying. Anyways, I will, uh, it came up after the horror stuff, so it's pretty funny. Um, uh -huh. World War II colorized. Yeah, it makes everything scarier for some reason. It's um, you know how you said that that uh, Brave New World became that Demolition Man movie. Yeah. yeah, that's exactly with like this Star Wars and all. That is that. It is that. They yeah. just you take these world events and you make these. Um, yeah, World War Two was a wacky time, and now they're preparing us for number three. Yeah, and they're 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 setting us up quietly, nicely. The trilogy, the the nice civil war. Let's uh, mm. now they're not exterminating by race. Now they're exterminating by uh, canceling. Uh, no, not. Jesus Christ. Bro. Well, they, they, cancel. they cancel. I feel like you're not thinking. You're just saying words. I am. Now they're exterminating just by views. Just if you're not the right views, that's who we're going to get rid yeah. of. Uh, they switch it on But people. I mean, is it actual extermination or will it be? It is, bro. Look at it. It is, like, but they're going to If you look at what's happening with the wars around the world, look at the Ukraine, look at <laughs> Gaza, look at all that. People are fucking getting mutilated. They're going to do 10, it. 10,000 are dead so far, probably? It's going to happen much more subtly. 10,000? Way more than 10,000. Way more than 10,000? Yeah, bro. It's, war's been going on for two years. <laughs> I had uh, German clients the other day. Brag. And uh, they kept busting my balls about some some process, some payment process that we don't accept. But they were, you know. Uh, like a PayPal or something? Yeah, but they were like. Uh, you don't accept racial epithets as payment? <laughs> and then, and then like, I'm like, look, you have a million dollars. We don't, we don't accept that. Period. He's like, just try it. Just try it. And I'm like, and then I got mad. Bro, it's the, it's the rules. Okay? It's the damn rules. No. Wait, what don't you guys No accept? is no. You of all people should know about <laughs> rules. <laughs> you said that? <laughs> <laughs> and then they just they just went. Mm. <laughs> you remember how you just follow them unapologetically? <laughs> yeah. Do the same right now. He was trying to pay like with a a card that well whatever. it doesn't matter. It yeah. doesn't matter. Uh that's not the uh, that's not the Was point it a debit the, visa? Yeah. You don't accept the debit visa? No, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. Anyways. But uh, it has the visa logo A lot of it. people don't accept debit visa, and I don't understand why. There Actually, no. These guys, I get why. It's because yeah. they don't want to... Uh, it's a whole... I'm not going to get into it's it. A it's thing. a whole complicated Company thing, thing. And uh, it has to do with laws and responsibilities of the vehicle. Uh, anyways, it doesn't matter. Okay, regardless, a there's a, a rule as to why you can't accept exactly. it. Exactly. There's period. a reason why. Yeah, he wasn't making it up. As yeah, well. exactly. Okay, I wasn't okay. telling the guy no just because I felt like telling him no. Right. You know what I mean? Like the whole company could, like, could be responsible after. Oh, fuck it. Now I'm going to say it because I'm people are going to be like, whoa, what's the big deal? Let's say. Uh, it's just for insurance purposes. The debit visa doesn't have the same insurance as a regular credit card. Uh, so what happens is because it's more tied to debit, it's a whole nightmare to get your money back, to do anything. If anything wrong goes wrong with a credit card, they're insured. It's way simpler if there's fraud. Exactly. Got that it. too. And also we're, we automatically become liable for the car. Got it. If it's a debit. Anyways, uh, it's all. Anyway, okay, and this guy couldn't accept it. Terrifying. Uh, oh, fuck, bro. Don't remind me of this movie, man. Well, why are you looking? Why are you getting distracted? She's a All right, really back. good actress. I like her. So, 
She's yeah, a she great was, she was actress. Yeah, but she, I hate her though. Yeah. Like uh, she's a great actress, but she's so good that I. I yeah, I, yeah, yeah. She she, I hate she her did her person. job. <laughs> yeah. yeah, she's. Really, uh, not in general. Like it's just the way she looks. United. So she set herself on fire in order to protest uh, the war. Oh fuck! I Gaza. can't, bro. I can't. Yeah, I can't. you told me to watch. It reminds this. me this movie. Oof, it's bad, bro. Yeah, this, this movie's gives terrifying. Me, gives me the hippie jibbies, bro. I, I, I feel like watching it just out of curiosity again, but like I don't want to feel that way again. No, 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 no. There's no way. There's no way. There's no way I want to watch this again. Hereditary. It's such a fucking compelling story, though. I know, but there's no way. You know what gave me? Uh, I watched The Shining. We spoke about it last yes. time. Yeah, the, the Shining. It's called The Shining or The Shining. No, it's The Shining. Bro. I know, bro. The Shining was the Simpsons parody of it. And uh, oh, there was a Simpsons parody. Yeah, and a, ha- ha- a Treehouse of Horror. They parody everything. The Halloween episodes. They always. Do. Yeah, I like how they're blurring out the fire. For some reason, it didn't. The movie didn't scare me. No, as it's, much. it's a different type of scary. Yeah, but it made me very uncomfortable. That's what it's supposed to do. Mm-hmm. Very uncomfortable yeah. the entire time. I was did like, you do? Uh, did you watch Eyes Wide Shut yet? I've watched it twice. I think. Oh, okay. I've watched it like at least five times. I, I always notice twice. different stuff. No. Yeah. His best movie, I think, is the um, Full Metal Jacket. No, it was the Moon Landing by far. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, did we jacket? go to the moon recently? Something this week? I read that. Oh no! China in 2013 went apparently went to the moon, but they released footage and it was so fake that they. They pulled it. I heard that too. It. How yeah, come yeah. I only found that out now? Yeah. Because they pulled it in, back in 2013. But I so. did hear that someone else went to the moon. Listen to this, because I, now you're going to get yeah. pissed. Someone else went to the moon. India. Lunar Odyssey sends back first pics from the moon See? landing 10 hours ago. Yeah. So they went on the moon days ago, and then they said, uh, yeah, it's just going to take us a couple, a little while to download the, the video. It's 2024, man. Uh, yeah. It was instant in the yeah. 60s. Yeah, in the 60s, you could see it right away. Here, it's, it's going to take a while. Yeah, uh, And obviously, the quality is going to be less. Th- oh, yeah, look at that. The quality is less good than in the 60s. Wow. Yeah, that just says everything I need to know. That's what, what? What the fuck is that? Exactly, Poseidon. That's the moon? Uh, that's, oh, the, it's Ulysses, the Odysseus, bro. It's, your, it's, your, it's named after... Uh, the Odysseus lander. Is that a picture of the planet? What is that? That is the moon. I'm so confused. In uh, a high definition. Oh, you're, are you playing the video? Oh, yeah. There you go. I'll play this big-ass video. Okay. The f- Earth is flat, confirmed. What, wait, <laughs> did you see that? What, what country is this? I have no you, idea. You, um, There's okay. no way they're calling this footage. But no, what, no, country, not... what country is this? That's the moon. <laughs> but what con- tell me what bro, country that's this is. the moon. Just stop. Bro, tell me what country this is. There's a picture of the moon. <laughs> How are you on the moon when the moon is behind you? I don't know what they're saying. This is not the United... Is this the United States? Maybe, yeah. And maybe it's a company called Intuitive Machines. Yeah. I never trust this company about anything. Well, they went to the moon. Are they calling... Are they really calling this footage? Yeah. The U.S. returns to the moon after 52 years. That's what it's... That's that's animation, obviously. Why would they do this? Um, How did we have footage in the 60s? And now we can only afford animations. Explain uh, this to me. Yeah, that is an animation. <laughs> Video games did a better job than this, bro. What's happening? Why are they doing this? You see, yeah. same thing with these guys. Like, where's the actually, footage? Are they are they actually calling this footage? Oh, that's are. that's real. I think that's the real. That footage. does not look that, real. That is not real, bro. What do they call it? So I feel like all these people are not in on it. I feel like they think it's real. I think like there has to be three people that are behind this. There's, uh, and there's no, no one way. else. I see. Because it's impossible for right. all these people to all be these enthusiastically. Years, to be enthusiastic yeah. and no one talks shit. Same thing with the real moon landing, like the, the one I have in the 60s. I'm pretty sure that the, the, the people in the booth thought that it was real. Really believed it. I yeah, agree. there's no way that you this can't many, have people, so many people. No, in on there's the, in no on way. The, you're right. There's no way. You're right. Someone would have talked. Just somebody at the top. Very, very small group of people. Okay, so that looks kind of real. Yeah, it looks kind of real. Just random photo, fo- like random photo. Like they won't show anything. It's so fucking sketchy. This, is, why, this doesn't look real. Why? What is this? It's so annoying that after all these years, the footage is is less good than then. Again, animation. Yeah, this is anime, obviously. You yeah. Can't okay. Be. So they called it that. That's it's a anime. picture of the moon. It's a yeah. All right. Proves nothing. Oh my god, bro. This is why people don't believe in this shit. Um, isn't there an Adam Sandler movie where he's an astronaut? Okay, so hold on. So they I've been were wanting just, to watch it. I, I have a question. So they were just doing it, but how come? 
I don't know the purpose of this though. What are they're they're, they're yeah, researching? What was, the, what was the point of this? They're, they're, Just they, to be like, no, it wasn't fake. Look, we can go. But they want moon rocks. Yeah, but why would they make an animation of the moon landing? I bro, it's very annoying to me too. It's annoying to anyone. Here's the problem. You know how you're annoyed by that and you go, this doesn't make any sense? Yeah. Majority of people see that and they're like, we went back on the moon. That's all they see. They see the headline. And then go on with their And day. they don't no, question no, 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 the dumbness yeah. of the video. Do you remember the India thing? Yeah, the yeah. India. There with was the, with the 1980s video, video that game. video video that was real. Yeah. Yeah, these people are fools. Yeah. That was horrible yeah. graphics. Yeah. That was, that was fucking 1990s. Uh, yeah, yeah, it was 8-bit. Yeah. Uh, I remember that. Nintendo did a better job back in the fucking. Yeah, that was, uh, that was recently. Yeah. What was that? So yeah, they went to the moon. We have used Nintendo 64 processor. <laughs> well, anyways, it's rough. But this is why people don't believe in it. Even though I'm pretty sure we could go to the moon, I'm pretty sure we probably did go to the moon. Hold I don't on. think the footage is showing us. We real. have the Mars rover. We've sent the rover on Mars, and we've allegedly. gotten and had a allegedly, <laughs> and we've gotten footage from Mars. Apparently, you're right. You're right. Yeah, how come okay. the footage from Mars how is come, clear? Yeah, right. How come we can get footage from fucking Mars, but the moon? Uh, we gotta make an animation. It's a yeah, planet. get, get I'm that sorry, same. Bro. Get the same film crew, film crew to do the moon one. <laughs> it's true. So, fun fact about the Mars rover thing. Mm -hmm. Apparently. It's not real. Never landed on Mars. Oh, shit. Poseidon with the, the juicy stuff. It is somewhere in northern Canada. Oh, somewhere in northern Canada. Yeah, Aren't, somewhere in northern where we Canada, are? and there's a filter. It's basically a place where it's just a bunch of rocks and shit. So it makes it look like otherworldly, And then they filtered it red. Yeah. Okay. I know that, like, in Utah or something, when they have to film movies, there is parts of, like, near Grand, whatever, Grand yeah. Canyon area that look like desert places that... Okay. I don't know. I would think it would be in the Grand Canyon. But do you think we really went to, we really dropped the rover on Mars and we got footage? I used to believe it was real, yeah. It's just now the only reason why I don't know anymore is because of all these moon, the fake moon landings the past decade, three times, the India, the Americans, and the Chinese. It, it makes me think, like, what the fuck, man? Is it maybe that we actually can't go that? I, I, like, what is it? What's what is the on? point? What's the point of all this fakery? Are they just washing money? <laughs> because, because the thing is, if we can get footage from Mars, we can definitely get footage from the moon. So why why the need for animation? It's not the animation that bothers me. The animation is just to explain to idiots how I guess how it works. What bothers me is the actual footage when they're always shitty photos. It's like how are these photos no. less good than the original ones? This doesn't make any fucking sense. You're right. You have an iPhone that can take so many pictures of the yeah. greatest fucking camera possible, and the the Mars rover footage. You could send in a phone that could record years ago. for twelve yeah, exactly. hours, but you go and you're like, we have this one random blurry photo. It, it's fucking. Yeah, yeah. that's it's what doesn't make sense. It's infuriating. It doing. doesn't make any sense. Bro, I think and then we couldn't have installed it on a phone. Could do the job. So Nineteen ninety-eight footage of Mars was clear. Yeah, that's like, what bugs we me. have. We have the new Samsung S, whatever the fuck, mm -hmm. uh, oh. Ultra that can zoom in to the moon. Apparently, it doesn't. Yeah, why don't they put that camera on the rover that's already on the moon? That's what I'm saying. Or the better we have, bro. We have insane cameras nowadays. I'm just saying, it's just it doesn't make any sense. Uh, there's too many holes in the stories, so I don't know what the fuck it is. Now, is the reason what they say in these alien documentaries? Like, is it because uh, when they we went to the moon, we found people there that were unhappy that were there. What do you mean, people that weren't happy? Oh, yeah, I remember we watched the, 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 yeah, the astronauts' uh, I, body language. I think Robert Greer, what's his name? Greer, the, the guy who was part of the Disclosure Project, he went to speak at the United States Congress. He <coughs> said that he's that what he knows from the information is that they did go to the moon. Uh, if the footage is not real, because when they did go to the moon, they found like uh, other like aliens there, whatever the fuck, extra dimensional beings or mm -hmm. terrestrial, and they were not happy. They the said, don't come back here again. Okay. So Understandable. That, it's their home if they live there. I don't think they live there. I think it's supposed to be a, it, it's like a, a post, an outpost. Oh, shit. I don't know if any of this is real, by the way. Because I, I don't want, because, you know, people listen to podcasts and then they're going to go out and be like, I know the truth. It's aliens, bro. <laughs> this is, okay, they're not, this is yeah, fascinating we, to me because it's, it's fascinating because I love like, um, the, science the, fiction uh, and, yeah I love and the lore behind yeah, it yeah, yeah, but yeah. Jesus Christ guys we've never seen any of this yeah garbage. we have no idea we're dumbasses yeah. uh, so it could be that there are uh, beings but they are not happy or, 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 or uh, look, un, bro, un, uh, unfriendly speaking of lore knows? and aliens and like all this South shit South Sentinel Island so did you know there's a planet that kind of crosses into our uh, planet no, no, no. X yes yeah, you, you've heard news. about this Planet X that kind of crosses every... Every uh, 6,000 years. Yeah, every 6,000 years, it comes into our solar system. And it passes close to Earth every 6,000 years. And then it goes... Okay, I go. And so there's a whole... Now, 
this is this is like lore. People wrote this as fiction, by the way, on Reddit. Planet X. You're it, talking about it's called Nibiru. But Nibiru, yeah. yeah, they wrote this as fiction. And basically what happened is is because humans are the most dangerous species in the galactic federation or whatever the fuck you want to <laughs> call it. Galactic Federation. Yeah. That basically these uh advanced civilizations would come every six thousand years and basically bamboozle humanity. Mm-hmm. Uh Sounds about right. So we don't get too powerful and too scary. Yeah. This time, apparently, they were like a thousand years too late or something. No, that's stupid. But it is cool. But well, it's very cool. The, yeah, Basically, it's 100% where it comes fiction. from is Planet yeah. X. Is the Sumerians would say that like uh, it 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 comes back into our solar system, and that's where the gods that we talk about, the Sumerian gods, that's where they're yeah. from. They're from that planet. So the science fiction part is uh, yeah. is captivating. It's it's yeah. nice to think about these things. It's a very nice thing about these things, especially you know what I've been I've been going down a rabbit hole of quantum physics. Really? What the bleep do we know? Oh Ever see that movie? Oh my god, no. But what? dude, it is it is is screwing up my whole mm. like understanding of everything. Uh it's so cool the quantum realm, but also I found out that a lot of the most prominent people like scientists they're kind of convinced that we're in a form of a simulation. I've heard this numerous times. I've heard it recently. Which is fucking scary to think about. You know, you know what's it's funny you talk about this. I've been watching videos it's Matrix of people uh playing these new video games where they're basically just in cars driving around and there's NPCs and they get to do they get to fuck around. Basically, they get to drive dangerously and recklessly on these fictional roads than in the real uh roads. I was like, bro, but imagine at some point that becomes indistinguishable. But no, no, you're, you're misunderstanding the term simulation. That's what you're not getting. That's what all the people are talking about, virtuality and shit. That's what they're not yeah. understanding because it makes it, you're understanding the wrong, that's not what they mean by a simulation. That, it, it, no one's wearing goggles. It's just the creation of something that simu like basically there's different levels of reality. So you can't see. Like even if they explain to you what it is, you won't be. It's like trying to explain to a video game that they're in a video game. Yeah, they have parameters. They'll never get what the fuck you're talking about. Yes. No matter how much AI you give them, that's a level that they just can't see. So that level could. It, like it just means that dimension. Yeah, and there's fifth and sixth, and they say yes. that basically somebody created all this, and it goes back to God. Most people will be like, "Well, I told you, God exists." Yeah. So created all this, and we're like a in a petri dish almost. But this is not the base level. So base reality would be the real reality. Yeah. And then everything else, all the simulation and the simulation of a simulation, like let's say a game right now, you make it so advanced, AI, that in it they decide at some point that they start making games and they start entertaining themselves. So what they're saying is, uh, Elon Musk says there's, in his theory, there's one in billion chance that we're base reality. So we're not even the base S- this is a simulation of something else that's probably a projection of something else. Like what the Matrix was talking about. Almost, yeah. But we are too, not stupid, but or ignorant, too blind no, 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 to no, no, it. No, we wouldn't no, even, no, it's not, not even that. It. So we cannot it, even perceive it. We cannot even perceive understand. It. Pers- I get it. So, so, no, I don't think there's you get it. There's a kid, there's we a teenager. Hold on, there's a teenager hold on, hold on. who explained this there's perfectly. There's a teenager who explained this, and I can. he was so smart, I cannot even regurgitate what so, he. What I yeah, listened to. So, so the, 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 this is how I can give it to you. So let's say right now, remember, um, okay, so I'm drawing a stick figure, okay, right now. Yeah, yeah. You see the stick figure? Yeah, there's a stick figure. See, he's on the paper, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, so he exists on this paper. He goes left, right. This is his, whatever I make for him here, I make a house. Yeah. That's his reality, okay? Mm-hmm. He can't see anything. This is the depth. Is this dimension? He yes. can't see up. So even though I'm right here, the pen is right next to his face. He cannot see the pen. He cannot no, see it. It right. doesn't exist okay. in his reality. So there could okay. be a pen right now. Okay. And okay. we wouldn't know we it. We wouldn't That's, know it. Yeah. Oh, it's wow. not we're too ignorant or too no, dumb. It's impossible. It's to impossible. Tell. It, exactly. He only has this dimension here, this single dimension that he sees that one way. <sighs> like video games. Remember when they were 2D? Right. They can't yeah. see. They went to 3D. Make, now understand. you can see all I, I around it. you. I, so imagine what we perceive as 3D. We have three dimensions. We think that's everything, right? It's not. There's a fourth dimension that you can't see. And a fifth incapable and a sixth of seeing. And a fifth. You can't, you're incapable. Incapable. So, incapable. Me and Vera. Okay, so I'll give you an example now. You're feeling, okay? You know, sometimes you have a gut feeling about something mm. and it comes out as real. Yeah. Explain that to me. Or when somebody has... Intuition. You have no proof. You, you have, have no proof. proof. 
That's a that's you, another realm. Yeah, that's yeah, another you turn realm around and someone's looking at you, but exactly. you felt them looking at you. Yeah. Yes. So that, for example, you cannot quantify that as like a vision. It's just a f- weird. Right. It's just so a thing. that dimension that you're tapping into to get that feeling, whether mm-hmm. it's intuition, uh, that's where, muscle memory, whatever, that kind of thing. That's that's another form of trying to tell you like there are something. And also they did a test with particles, bro. This is fucking crazy. And you know we're our own magnetic field, right? Yes. And not just that. This is another crazy thing, What is bro. the particles? Uh, what they did was, so they want to see if there's something called quantum entanglement, which is, so there's two particles that are uh, entangled together mm-hmm. from uh, one side of the universe to the other side of the universe completely, okay? I think I heard. If you molest one, the other one knows and it's affected, even though they're galaxies apart or like really, really far apart and they're not touching, Oh, something makes them understand that the other one is being manipulated so it gets it like twins so, so these two are connected entangled particles but, but entangled but at other sides they don't have to be in the same room mm. nothing but they know so what they're trying to say is okay so that dimension for example what's causing that how the fuck do they know what's the connection they're calling it quantum entanglement that they're entangled at the quantum level but what is that what is that what's holding them together so is quantum the fourth dimension, you think? No, quantum is like really, really, really small. Like really, really, okay, really okay, to the okay, base. Okay, okay. Like the nuclei of things. And so it's so you could... Do. Anyway, and the other thing is the rules. Here's the other thing that's mind-boggling. This is going to drive me crazy. This is why Einstein hated it. So the rules that dictate our reality, mm. the way gravity works, everything, don't necessarily... Our mathematics do not apply to the quantum realm. In the quantum realm, the math is different, which shouldn't be possible. Because math it's is part of math our realm. Is logic. Yeah. Like, yeah, and it's part of our realm. It's, it's, right, it's, it's right. just a quantum version of it. So that it, it sets other people pissed off too because like our shit doesn't work. It's kind of like a video game where you go into a certain realm. Now, like Superman, you know how Superman on this planet because the sun, he has mm. superpowers that we right. don't. It would be the equivalent of that. Right. It's like the, the rules don't apply anymore, but it's like, but why? We're living in the same thing. How can gravity not apply the same way? Exactly. It's very crazy. Yeah, it's it's wacky. Me, me, me and Viron had extensive talks but, about... Uh, the the fourth and fifth dimension and we, I went how like imagine like imagine like this is like a video game for us and like this is our meat suit and basically your consciousness is actually in the fourth suit. from the fourth dimension and then it's transported into your this is your suit that you wear for this yeah. it's very, it's, it's by the way the meat tweet, suit thing we talk the the guy there Greer the alien guy he mm. said that apparently why they they get mad at us because what well, we are we're just containers. We're, the most important part is the soul, and we're just containing souls. Vessels. Vessels, yeah, and, and they harvest those souls. Mm. Crazy, like yeah? Inception. Remember Inception? That has nothing to do with what we no, just No, no, I'm just saying it. Things that rules didn't make sense. They could walk on walls. Yeah, but that's and shit. a dream that's world. A dream. Oh, that's Jesus it. Christ. Oh, bro. shut up. I'm saying the visual. It's just But things. you're saying, oh, shut up, but it's because okay. you, 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 come on, man. I got it. That's you know, fine. It's yeah, not like there was Inception a, fuck, at all. I got to find the episode of In Bed where me and Viron... And I got to make clips of it uh, where we talked about this extensively. And at some point, we were talking about it so Polar much. A Here's a kid. Plane. Yes, this now, kid. Assuming Genius. that it is no height and no depth, what would this mean? It would mean that it's a one-dimensional world. So if, hypothetically, an organism was living inside of it, it would only be able to move in a linear path forward and backwards in a straight line. Now, if we go to the second dimension, we have two dimensions. We have width and we have length. So hypothetically, if an organism lived inside of here, then it would be able to move up, down, left, right, and anywhere else in between. And a two-dimensional world is comprised of an infinite series of one-dimensional worlds stacked upon each other. Just as our three-dimensional world, which has depth and length and height, is comprised of an infinite series of two-dimensional worlds. So, this now that I have stacked many folders upon each other, we have three dimensions. We have depth, we have length, and we have width. Now what happens if you keep going on from here on out? We would have a four-dimensional world, but what exactly is a fourth dimension? In order to understand this, we need to understand how dimensions are perceived. We live in the three-dimensional world, but despite that, we actually view things to be two-dimensionally. Yeah. Take a perfect sphere, for example. If you're looking at a sphere, it looks just like a regular two-dimensional circle. The only way that you can tell it's an actual sphere instead of a circle is because of the hues of light down. So just like in a two-dimensional world, if a 
um, organism in the two-dimensional world was looking upon a circle, it would, the light would make it appear to be lighter at one end and darker in the middle. Also, if, you, if an object is moving farther, closer and farther away from you, you don't actually perceive that it's getting closer and farther away. You see that it's getting smaller or larger, and then you assume that it's getting either farther away or closer. But let's say that an object was to grow in perfect equilibrium so that it was growing at the same speed that it was shrinking as you move it farther away. Then you would not be able to tell without any lights or uh, if there were details on the object that it's moving or growing at all. That's interesting. You may have assumed that since we perceive things to be in two dimensions, that a two-dimensional uh, uh, organism would see in one dimension. So, as we're watching this uh, rubber band expand as it moves farther away from this little uh, organism in the two-dimensional world, it's, it does not actually perceive anything is happening to it because it's growing at the same speed oh, that it's moving farther it. away. Mm. But since we can so actually it see the same. it from the three-dimensional world and perceive things to be in two dimensions, we can see things for how they actually are. The reason that the two-dimensional organism doesn't see things the way they really are is because the two-dimensional organism sees things in one dimension, just how we, three-dimensional creatures, see things in two dimensions. So in a way, we don't really see our world the way it truly is. A four-dimensional creature, however, seeing our three-dimensional world in three dimensions, would be able to see through things, would be able to see absolutely everything, just as we could see if there was uh, several organisms spread along a 2D um, environment on your floor. You'd be able to see inside houses. You'd be able to see inside of people. So if a two-dimensional world, a flat surface, is just made of an infinite amount of uh, lines, then the 3D world is just made out of an infinite amount of planes. So the 4D world, logically, is made out of an infinite amount of 3D objects. Though they're not just put together like um, you would like building blocks. It's, that's not how the 4D world is. That would just be 3D again. So in order to understand this, hmm. we need to understand the logical progression of mathematics in our world. Imagine that this connects piece represents the first dimension. It's simply a straight line, which is basically what the first dimension looks like. I'm loving this. And if you add three more... I think that it connects. ...of yeah, these straight like lines and connect them to the, so that adjacent sides are perpendicular and opposite sides are parallel, then you have the basic shape of the second dimension. You have a square. Now, if you keep going from here and you add, four, add it so that there's a total of four squares, and all adjacent sides are perpendicular, and all opposite sides are parallel, then sides. you end up with, obviously, a 3D. A that's, cube. That's where we live. Mm. So, if you tried to keep going from here, and you would have a four-dimensional basic shape, you would have a what's called a tesseract. Now, I cannot show you a tesseract, but you need to understand that it's basically four cubes that are within each other, that um, have all adjacent sides perpendicular and all par and all opposite sides parallel. Yet there are three lines connect uh, four lines connecting to each vertex. So a tesseract would look somewhat like this picture. Now that that's not exactly what it looks like because this is a two-dimensional depiction, and obviously not all of the lines are straight. So. I cannot show you what a tesseract actually looks like because we cannot perceive things in the third dimension. Crazy. Yeah, that, you cannot okay. even imagine it makes what sense. a tesseract like the, looks like. It you doesn't, cannot, but it does. Physically, it, you cannot in your mind picture the fourth dimension or a fourth dimensional shape. And you can keep going on from the fourth dimension even. You can go to the fifth dimension, the sixth dimension, the seventy-first dimension. It doesn't matter. Theoretically, there are an infinite amount of spatial dimensions. A common misconception of the fourth dimension is that the fourth dimension is time. Now, while some argue that by going forward and backwards in time, if you move forward the same distance and backwards the same, then you would end up in the same place you started, just like in the fourth dimension. And while that may seem logical, if you think about it, it really doesn't make sense. If you imply that the fourth dimension is actually time, well, first of all, time is not spatial. There's a difference between space and time, quite obviously. And assuming that all dimensions are according to a pattern, then 
that doesn't really make sense either, because saying the fourth dimension is time, every dimension has time in it. Oh, yeah. So that would mean that the fourth dimension is special in some way, which doesn't really make any sense. Another reason this doesn't make sense is that we so very, very, very slightly travel through time whenever we move due to the distance um, that light takes to get to our body. Now, if a group of astronauts were to get in a spaceship and they were to go very, very, very close to the speed of light, then they would, and they, they went around in this um, impossible, nearly the speed of light spaceship for a few months, and then afterwards they returned to Earth. They would find that Earth had actually progressed a few years, so they had moved forward in time by moving that quickly. Another interesting concept involving the fourth really dimension I love this kid. is that many yeah, physicists and even mathematicians uh, may say that the dimensions are very, very slightly curved. Because, if you really think about it, nothing can be truly, absolutely infinite. So imagine that a, the first dimension, the line, is just very, very slightly curved, so that after a very long time, it will um, end up creating a circle. So... Um, as suggested by many physicists, if you keep going in the same direction, then you will end up where you are, where you started after a very, very long amount of time, obviously. And the same thing would happen to the second dimension. If it's just a square, and then you extend it very, very slightly in a curve, then it will eventually make a sphere. And the same thing happens in our dimension, except it will form a very, very slightly curved, um third dimension, which will form a four-dimensional universe, basically. Fucking ridiculous. So what this kind of means is that our three-dimensional world is within a four-dimensional world. And I like this kid. When, yeah. when the, 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 sphere, the, whole, the sphere that was growing, but yeah. while it was backing away, it was changing size. That's Cause the, just, No, because nothing is straight. It goes, so it curves a bit. So if you keep going far enough yeah. with a little bit of a curve, at some point, because you're curving... At some point, it's going to curve slightly. It, it turns back into itself. You go back to where you started, but it's so infinitely expansive. Mm. But you go back to the starting point. That's the ooh Yeah, part. I had a whole conversation with, with uh, Veron uh, about this. Like, it's amazing. It would make a, like a crazy movie where like the gods are basically the ones in charge of the fourth dimension. And that's how we perceive them as gods. Well, Interstellar did this. Was that like was it? Was Interstellar it, was amazing. But was it? Um, I watched like, Interstellar a long time like, ago with yeah. the gods and stuff. No, no nothing. Or the gods. It's uh, yeah. So, but the gods that are in charge of the third dimension were just like the souls that they're in charge of that uh, uh, that they send to the third dimension. And the third dimension has to serve the fourth, and the fourth, and the fifth, and the sixth, and etc. So each dimension has to serve the next dimension. I tied in mythology and the dimensions, basically. Okay. Do you Crazy. understand what I mean? Like, yeah. Uh, as, as like a fictional thing, like that it, would, it would be really cool. It's you know what so I mean? much fun to get into this, it's, but it it's makes you hate life. Yes. Yes. And how insignificant and... <sighs> yeah, you don't matter. Yeah, exactly. It makes you feel tiny. Which but are we at the bottom of the barrel in this uh, Elon Musk thing? Like, are we... <laughs> Well, no, they could be under us, but it's just the fact that we're not in control is what's crazy. Well, we don't know because also according to this, there is also an infinite amount of dimensions beneath us. Right. Because of the quantum shit. I thought it, it starts at one and it goes up. Yes, but then there's... there's Because you, you know... There's negative dimensions? Yeah, well, well, you see it in Ant-Man. No, that's quantum realm. Yes, the quantum realm, I think, is the dimensions under... That's what we call... After the first dimension. You know how kind of like on the X, Y... Maybe, yeah. There's like the positive and the negative? Yeah. You know what I mean? I think the quantum realm... There's is, negative dimensions. ...is beneath the first dimension. Oh, that's, that's crazy. And then, is there anything beneath that? Hell? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, Maybe that's what they mean by hell. Maybe, maybe. you know, we all go down... Maybe it's just the, called something like hell, but it's that. But maybe, maybe when they were explaining hell, they were talking about the quantum dimension. Could be. Or, How would they know, bro? They I, I, bro even, I don't know, bro. They're this gods. is all fascinating. They didn't, even, they didn't even speak English. <laughs> they're the gods. This the is energy. all fascinating. I don't know. It's I, by it feeling. Ma it makes, me, it makes me think. It makes me... I, I, the thing is, I know I'm completely dumb as shit to talk about this, but I like to talk about it. I, lo I love I, it too. I love to talk yeah, about I it like to it try too. and uh, make sense the, of it. All right, well, the, the famous quantum movie was uh, "What the Bleep Do We Know?" With uh, about the, have you ever seen Interstellar? No, I saw "What the Bleep Do We Know." Okay, I'm gonna watch that too. But Interstellar was very. Uh, you good. know what? I'm gonna rewatch Interstellar because of this. It's amazing. I watched it a long time ago. Intellectuals out. Peace. <laughs>